Hello guys, this is Retro Netro, and I'm coming back with another video. I didn't realize that my last video cut off. So um, as I'm charging my device here, the Steam Deck, I've had for a while. Now the question to be asking is, do I use it? And the answer is not as much as I thought I would. Um, so let me just sign in real quick. So let me just okay so i put in my information um and now on my uh steam deck so i got the cheapest version and you know i pre-ordered it when it was first launched so it did take a quite a long time for it to get and i mean for what it is i think it's an awesome awesome machine i think it's super like clean it's fast reliable battery lasts a good amount obviously unless you're using something like graphical intensity and upping all the graphics and yes it's gonna take some graphical power to run that and thus the battery lower if you compare this to a switch obviously the switch lasts longer and switch has um i want to say a bigger library because obviously we have almost every switch game or every um steam game we can play on here that's compatible but i feel like switch has more of a backing and more compatibility I think the Steam Deck has great compatibility in a lot of games, but there's still a lot of games that are hit and miss. Um, I wouldn't know exactly which ones, but what I've seen videos for. So we're gonna play something. So we'll play this game right here, Pray for the Dogs. So it's installing still, and there we go. And there we go. So like I said, pretty easy to use, not like super difficult or any way like, um, you know, it's, it's pretty easy. The buttons are smooth. Everything is nice. I put a protected cover on this that I bought. It's like 20, 20 bucks. And then I put a protective film over this. So I protect my entire system, obviously with the case that came with it. So this is Pray for the Gods. Um, so we're gonna start a new game. So. Easy, story, let's go down. So we'll see the loading time and everything. Um, like I said, um, so far pretty quick. Obviously I'll continue doing more tests on this and continue playing different games. I'm curious what the Wi-Fi range and everything else is. If it disconnects a lot or if it doesn't based off of that range and kind of what else it can do. Um, the one thing I do love about this is now I can play my computer games on my couch downstairs since I have a two story. Um, which is amazing, honestly. It's something that I dreamt of when the other Steam accessory came out and I never got to actually use it because it sucked. So I'm hoping with this now, it's kind of just having another computer, really, if you think about it, which is kind of cool because now if I really want to play Steam games with my friends anywhere I can. And I think that's a huge win, uh, especially for PC gaming. Um, so I'll give you that. So as you can see, obviously the video quality is not going to give you the best quality that's on the camera. It's better if you actually see it in person, but just so you can see what it looks like. From what I can see, it's smooth, it's clean, good audio, probably much better than I would say the Switch. I feel like it's more stereo, uh, stereotype of the audio. I think it's not even set to the highest range. Like I said, it's a good size. It's pretty much bigger than the Switch um, and a little bit thicker, but obviously because it's a computer um, inside. <laughs> Like I said, pretty reactive, as you guys can see. I'm moving forward, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Pretty good. I push buttons, it's pretty reactive. 
It does have touchpad. My camera, so I can look through that. Obviously, now you'll see a little circle here. That's just my screen protector because right? I didn't press it down. So just so you guys can see that. It's not the actual system. So. So like I said, it charges pretty quickly. It's pretty portable. The battery lasts a good amount of time when it's idled, um, as in like you're not playing it, keeping it in its case. Um, but obviously it's not as, I guess, powerful or as longevity of like a Switch um, or even the Vita's when it was out and popular. But I think this is a step forward when it comes to portable gaming, especially for PC gaming. Um, I really am excited what they will do next with it, if they do anything. Um, I can see this is the way of PC gaming or just computer gaming in general. Uh, I can see this in the future where you can carry something like this around and hook it up to a monitor or don't even use a monitor, just use a lap, uh, keyboard and it's just as powerful as an Alienware or something like that. I think that'd be super awesome and really, really, really create portable gaming, but now desktop game at the same time. And yeah, the upgradability might be not as great, but... I think it would give a new light and new world when it comes to computer gaming and overall just portable gaming. Because we do have the Switch and everything else that has been rocking it for years and years, but I think this is a contender that if done right and really made into something that everyone can buy into and afford, like they can really make some huge movements on this. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully something good comes from this. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.